hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new this is moon i'm a perfume lover and collector and i'm doing perfume reviews here on my channel and also in my instagram account that i encourage you to check it out and follow me if you love perfumes so as you can see in the title today's video is about my top 10 perfumes from my collection and actually i'm so excited that i'm doing this video today with you actually for two reasons uh first um when you know my taste in perfumes then you're gonna get to know me better and um if you have same taste as me so i think um uh, my video is gonna be useful for you you know and number two because it was so challenging to pick just 10 perfumes from my big collection um it was really challenging to pick just 10 but um so excited to do that with you today so let's go so number 10 spot i have a uh, cheese or by lancome as you see in the bottle um Trezor um, is one of those perfumes that opens the gate to the perfume worlds to me. Um, when I wore this at first, because this is my second bottle, um, I wore it when I was 25 years old. Um, and it was my signature scent for a whole year. I wore only this perfume um, for a whole year. This has everything. Uh, it has um, fruit, it has flowers, it has vanilla, it has amber, it has rose, everything in this beautiful classic uh, perfume. Um, I'm a big lover of uh, 90s uh, fragrances uh, and this created in the 90s, I believe in 1990. So that's why I love it so much because uh, perfumes uh, created um, in this time, oh my God, full of elegance. Uh, it has, you know, character. Uh, they smell so original, you know. Um, this is my second bottle and this is um, the new formulation. Uh, to be honest, I prefer the first formulation, which is was more powdery. This is more sweet, but I still love it. So, uh, Trezor, uh, as I said, it has everything, every note that you can imagine, and uh, blended very beautifully, and um, it's so delicious, and it's so cozy. Um, so here, I can easily smell uh, apricot, uh, peach, uh, I can smell amber and vanilla, so if you can imagine a... Um, a Turkish uh, peach and apricot dessert and has vanilla syrup on the top. Um, this is how I can describe uh, Trezor. It has also um, purple flowers. Uh, that's why it's powdery. It has iris and heliotrope. So beautiful, so classic. Uh, it's going to be in my collection forever. This is Trezor Milanko. So number nine spots, I have um, Decad Decadence by Marc Jacobs, as you see, the very beautiful, classy bottle. Um, I don't see this bottle as a, a tacky one, no, at all. Um, to my eyes, um, it's very beautiful, very classy, and very luxurious also. So um, Decadence by Marc Jacobs. To me, it's uh, the best perfume that uh, Marc Jacobs created, in my humble opinion. Um, this is so class, this is so powerful, and it's also, it's, it's an original scent, okay? I haven't smelled um, any perfume in my life that's similar to this scent, um, that's why I love it so much. Again, I'm a big fan of amber notes and amber scents and this one has amber and it's so prominent and it's so delicious. It mixed very beautifully with um, 
blooms so it's sweet but it's also powdery because it has flowers jasmine and i think iris because it's so powdery also very feminine very powerful very unique and it's really really decadent scent and it's one of those scents that they are captivating you know that you i mean i can't get enough of it you're gonna you know you're gonna need to smell it all the time while you wear it very beautiful perfume very beautiful creation this is decadence by mark jacobs in number nine spots so number seven spot i have a very very beautiful perfume and it's so underrated um and it's very affordable too i have um this perfume called la mia perla by la perla first of all look at the bottle um it's very weird one in front and back um it's all about you know um geometry and 3d effects i don't know if it's shown in the camera or not but it's very um a different and spectacular one okay this is the bottle uh now the juice that inside the bottle is even better <laughs> okay i you know found this perfume um i think a year ago um i watched um, an arabic youtuber describing this perfume as the scent of kind people so I was like, mm, kind people. That that was this description was so interesting to me, and I was like, I want to smell like kind people, you know. So when I looked up the notes, I found uh, one of my um, all-time favorite notes, which is suede, and suede smells suede smells like leather, but much more uh, delicate, much softer than than leather, and also much more feminine. You know and it's also to my nose suede smells like um kind of warm clean skin you know what i mean i love this note very much in perfumes um this has suede it has also oris which is the um iris roots um that's why it's so powdery oh my god this is so powdery this is also sweet this perfume doesn't have vanilla or amber or tonka beans doesn't have any um sweet notes but it's sweet and i don't know how they did it and that's why this perfume is very special to me is very unique again very original i haven't smelled something similar to it um in my life and i smelled lots lots of perfumes um uh, this is so unique guys i highly recommend checking this one out uh, you can find it online it's very affordable this is the biggest bottle the um, the 100 ml bottle and you can find it for only 30 dollars and this is a signature scent it doesn't have like um like a very big silliage it's but people gonna you know smell it on you when they kind of close you know or around to you but it has a very good longevity it's very beautiful um, i can see a very kind-hearted uh, beautiful man i mean woman um wearing this perfume she's a very kind-hearted like the the youtuber that i watched said i can i can see that but she's also beautiful very beautiful and she's you know she's sexy you know like men would would love to marry this girl you know what i mean it's very beautiful scent um i highly recommend checking out la mia perla by la perla i love it so much number seven spot number six spot i have a very beautiful perfume that i can't imagine my summer collection without it I have um, Terracotta by uh, Guerlain, as you see, the very beautiful bottle. Um, 
this perfume is all about uh, white flowers it's all about vanilla okay so it's floral white flowers and vanilla oh my gosh and this scent is so guerlain okay like when you smell it you know this is this perfume from guerlain house because it's very classic very unique and very outstanding actually um even though it's um a summer scent it should be a summer scent it's very long lasting has a great sillage um so as i said it's uh, white flowers uh like um tiara flower which smells uh, like creamy and coconutty it has also jasmine and um orange blossoms uh, and of course it has a uh, coconut and it has uh, vanilla i love this one so much it's very unique um yes many many people said um this this is a vacation and sun and you know in the bottle <laughs> and i can i can agree with that this smells like um you know those tanning lotions uh, those uh sunscreens smells like that but in a a very high end way possible it's very smells expensive actually very beautiful one um i highly recommend this perfume um especially in summertime very amazing one one of my top 10 perfumes very beautiful one Terracotta by Guerlain. So number six spot, I have this beautiful perfume. I know many, many of you knows um, how this perfume smell like, or at least you heard about it. It's uh, the one by Dolce and Gabbana. Oh my God, you guys, I love this perfume very much. Why? Um, Oh my god this also one of those perfumes that smells very very on its own you know like i haven't smelled anything like the one okay oh my god this smells like the very old times to, to my nose it smells like the very old times like um it's not even the 90s or the 80s it's even before that do you know when uh when i see those um those shows um that show when people uh from the 60s you know um europe people actually uh, in the 60s uh la old ladies wearing those you know hats and and beautiful maxi dresses and they are all of them are classy you know what i mean this perfume smells like that to me it's very beautiful it's an oriental floral scent um this is vanilla this is amber again that's why i love it so much because i love amber as i said it also has has peach and has white flowers i think it has um lily and jasmine oh my god it's very sensual very beautiful um amazing um i think all year round this is all year round scent for me very sensual very very womanly you know it's very very womanly very grown-up lady uh she's so beautiful she's so cla like very classy and she's also sensual and seductive okay so number six spot the one by dolce and gabbana all-time favorite for me so number five spot i have this very famous perfume c by Giorgio armani um to me c is the or one of the best it's not the best but i think it's one of the best vanilla perfumes created ever um oh my gosh this is smells like 
vintage vanilla to me it's like vintage um vanilla syrup you know what i mean it's something very vintagey and very old smelling but it's very unique and so good it also has rose i can smell also patchouli i'm not a big fan of patchouli in perfumes but it it doesn't bother me at all in this perfume very sensual very unique very classy and i know it's a signature for many many people um i love to wear it um in cold uh months like fall and winter very beautiful one if you are a vanilla lover c by Giorgio armani should be in your collection very beautiful very high end very very gorgeous okay this is a crowd pleaser men love it women love it very beautiful one number five spot c by Giorgio armani number four spot i have classique by jean paul gatier as you see um why this one in my top five because as i said before i'm a big lover of uh makeup uh lips uh, you know makeup smells like lipsticks and face powders and also i'm a big lover of the fragrances that created in the 90s and this created in the 90s and smells like powder and lipstick but in a very vintage way okay so it smells vintage again smells um very rosy it smells also sweet i think it has um it has touch of vanilla um to my nose it's one of the best best rose scents created and it also has um it has rum note i think that's why it's something like vintage you know very beautiful perfume um screams femininity screams um grown up mature but very beautiful lady i can wear it uh it's a very strong one it's a very long lasting celiage is you know beast mood but i can still wear it um you know all year round very feminine and you know that i love feminine perfumes uh, and this is one of the top top um uh, perfumes of all time classic by jean paul gatier number four now um my favorite or my top three perfumes so number three spot i have um one of the best floral uh, perfumes ever i have uh, flora botanica by Balenciaga. as you see um the best bottle created ever it's so different it's so modern and classy and at the same time um so this perfume is a must have <laughs> during spring and summer it's so refreshing it's so rosy if you are a lover of red roses um this is a must have i can tell this is maybe good number one rose scent for me i can put it is the uh, the first first um you know favorite rose scent it smells like fresh like very fresh and dewy uh, roses um it has touch of amber and it has i'm gonna put all the notes um, on the screen but i can easily detect uh the amber and the iris because it's so powdery oh my god and it has something very different than any floral or rose uh scent that i've smelled before i think it's that uh, mint note in it but it doesn't smell minty at the same time it just gives it that um you know fr uh, freshness and aquatic vibe to it 
and this is a beast mode on the longevity and the sillage very very beautiful stunning this is a stunning perfume for all rose lovers number three spot flora botanica by Benetiaga. highly highly recommend checking out this one now number two spot uh my second favorite perfume is actually a new addition in my collection and it easily became and my top top favorite ones um i have here um narciso rouge uh, by narciso rodriguez as you can see the red cube um this perfume again as you can see <laughs> i'm a big lover of uh rose and floral floral scents my mm, okay my best uh, scents uh, are uh, oriental floral rosy uh, and also amber and powdery and uh, smells of powders and makeup those are my top favorite scents that's why i have many of them in my collection and this one why it's number two spot because oh my god this is so unique this is so elegant if you love rose but you don't love your floral scent like very powdery and overpowering you love it has a touch of sweetness so this one is for you because it has vanilla uh i can smell the vanilla very easily it's very powdery again smells like this color okay this smells like the red color smells like high-end red lipsticks to me that's why I adore it. That's why it's my, um, you know, number two spot. Very beautiful one. I just got it maybe, maybe three months ago, and it became in my my number two favorite because it's really that amazing. It has a very good longevity. I can say it has uh, between seven to eight hours. I can imagine a very beautiful woman. Uh, she wears you know a very fancy uh black dress she has um very rich lipstick and she's she's amazing she's so beautiful when you, when she enters uh, the room all the heads turn turns to her this is how uh, narciso rouge uh, smells to me very beautiful one highly recommend it if you love rose makeup scents number two spot now number one spot um if you saw me before if you saw some of my videos then i think you guessed what's your my all-time favorite my number one favorite fragrance ever yes you are right it's alien by Mugler. Uh, alien is my number one perfume ever of all times um why because it's amber, the best amber and jasmine perfume ever. Um, it's, oh my god, it's, it's, I know it's, um, it's a signature scent for many, many people. And also, I know it's a polarizing scent. People either hate it so much or love it to death. Um, but I was scared to try Alien uh because of that and i kept uh you know i kept uh, myself from trying it i don't know why um but when i've tried it it was a love at first sniff for me it's very beautiful very classy very very different um it stands on its own it's uh, so original nothing nothing on earth you know smells like alien to me uh, and it's very hard to describe also and i can get this um grape smell that people are talking about i can get that but it's uh it's very unique it's very syrupy it's sweet uh it's so sensual it's it's very an uh, intoxicating scent um yes alien my number one uh, perfume um 
and I think that's it for today's video guys um, I'm so glad that I did this video with you today uh, let me know what's your favorite perfumes uh, from your collection I would love to hear your choices uh, I would love to hear your comments also and read your comments and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to support and thank you so much guys for watching me today and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!